this might be the most exciting place I've ever been. Welcome to the geographical center of the United States. In the middle of nowhere. Hmm. Welcome here. So there's a plaque here that's like, Touched by the Bickle versus read inside the chapel, uh, somebody. And his friends vowed to fulfill a dream, bringing a cedar tree from Lebanon to the center of the USA. Huh. Oh, it's dead. It's unfortunate. Here's what you're missing out on. You know, if you haven't been to the geographical center of the USA. They have a trash can, a dead cedar, this flag, more things that say the Geological Center of the USA. Yeah. Uh, give it a one out of ten. Hmm. I'm guessing that was a hotel once. See a bunch of chairs in the window. Maybe there was like a restaurant on the end of the hotel. Nothing to see from this side. No animals? Man, I am in the wrong place if they gotta put no animals in the dumpsters on signs. Hmm. The windows are painted over. There it is, the Geological Center of the USA. Well, the lower 48. Pretty sure if you had Alaska and Hawaii, I don't know. Maybe I should go there next. A big ponderosa. Sean Donovan, Sedona, Arizona, May 7th, 2021. We were here. We were here. Alright. 
road I drove down. Brag, but this is pretty important. Oh, yeah. Welcome to Nebraska. I am a party animal. Woo! Yeah. Nebraska. It's gonna give me some corn. By the way, see you, Kansas. The wide open prairie. The Nebraska Prairie. <laughs> the interesting girl. So, uh, here I am. In the Nebraska Prairie. The sun is setting. And you're supposed to be able to see the Milky Way here, I think. So, I don't know, I don't have anywhere to be. I guess I could just walk down to the pond over here. Do you move at me? Nice sunset. I imagine when it rains, this is like a creek. Because there ain't no trees right around here. A lot of poop. Yeah. I don't know about this being a pond right now. Poop minefield. Cows must have been hanging out right here. There's the epic pond. I think we need some rain. A little bit low. There's the uh, RV. There's the RV way in the distance. Hmm. Maybe zoom back out. Ah, there we go. Oh, and here's the prairie. 
butters down. I imagine it tastes right here a lot. I don't know what's out there. I'm not gonna walk out there, so it's like 600 acres. So. I imagine it's just prairie and more prairie. And maybe like a tree or two, like right over there. But, uh, pretty nice. Don't look bad. I guess there's cows in here. There's a uh, like poop, cow poop. Yodies. All right, I'm not gonna wait for the sun to completely set. Um, apparently it just set slow out here. No, I'm closer to Colorado and uh, I'm actually like an hour behind because of that. All right. Oh yeah, the Nebraska gas station. That was a neat town over there. It's been a historical building there. So if you're curious what you're missing when you drive across Nebraska on the back streets, Getting close to uh, South Dakota. Kind of just taking the back roads all the way across Nebraska and seeing what's out here, which uh, is a lot of small towns, and that's about it. Well, I made it to South Dakota, and I am glad to be out of Nebraska. There's a bird over there freaking out because he's got a nest nearby. Uh, still pretty flat. I'm going to head up to Hot Springs and then Custer. Where's the bird at? I can hear it. There he is. Yeah, you can see him. And then, whoa. Lunch. Oh, this smells good. Brontosaurus legs. Or turkey legs. Whatever. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. South Dakota.